It is a beautiful morning in the land down under in uh, Urangan to be specific and it took me a little bit of time to get used to, to saying that Urangan but uh, I think I've I think I've got it handled now. I am on uh, the street where I am renting on Airbnb and I am gonna go down and see if I can't see the uh, the sunset or sunrise so this is kind of a unique place here for me as far as the travels that I've been doing and I say that in that you can watch both the sunrise and the sunset from the very same spot so over over the water that is so you can actually watch the sunrise and sunset over the water in the very very same spot and that spot would be the Urangan Urangan Pier so it's quite the landmark if you look at pictures of Harvey Bay that's what you'll see you will see the Urangan Pier more times than not as one of the first pictures so I'm walking through a uh, a neighborhood here where there's just a hodgepodge of various types of of homes some of which I certainly wouldn't mind uh, calling my own home and others well probably uh, less likely to have that desire but uh, I am only five minutes only five minutes from the the pier and sunrise comes up in about 15 minutes if I'm not mistaken so if I did my math right I should be able to should, well the sun will be coming up in about 12 minutes so we will uh, we will see as the saying goes if I'm able to get it now that's a nice house and interestingly enough a lot of the homes here are up on pillars such as you see right there and this one uh, may very well well this one's up on pillars as well but they have some like trim down around the uh, the bottom there so the street is actually Pilot Street and if I'm not mistaken I think that there's a little walkway just up between these two streets that'll take you down well they've got it fenced off as a matter of fact but I'm just gonna walk down this street here sleepy little town I've only been here less than less than 12 hours actually but uh, maybe a little bit longer than that but it is really a quiet little town and the demographics of this town if the uh, trip down to the pier yesterday was any indication quite quite different than any place that I've been in Australia it is a uh, just a mix of uh, both Aussies and just a mix of both Aussies and uh, and foreigners immigrants but here look at this uh, I'm going to share this mailbox with you at this house here Look at this mailbox. Isn't that an interesting mailbox? As I'm walking along, you can probably hear the birds. No shortage of uh, birds here greeting the, greeting the morning with their songs. And it's probably, it's probably beyond that, but the bats have probably already come home every night just after the sun goes down. The skies are just filled with, with bats, large fruit bats that are coming out of the, coming out of the, 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 the forest, the tropical forest to go do their feeding. As I turn around here, here is a pavilion where they must have different uh, different entertainment. Again, it's not a very not a very big town at all, and I am I've been recording now for 
five minutes exactly and I am almost I am almost to the uh, to the pier there's a couple that's out for a walk you'll find a lot of uh, retired people that'll come up to Harvey Bay it's a in, in great part it is a retirement community and here you can see they've got the uh, what is that something Mulula cafe and that's what I'm hoping to see right there as a matter of fact tomorrow I am going swimming with humpback whales swimming that's right not not watching I am hoping to actually go swimming with humpback whales now I don't know that we're gonna see a sunrise I see a lot of clouds off on the horizon so we may very well not see a sunrise probably gonna see lots of lots of fishermen though and there are no shortage of fishermen now this is the uh, esplanade here you see that street right there will just go for quite a distance all types of little hotels and restaurants and various convenience stores and here is the lay of the uh, the map there you can see of Harvey Harvey Bay and Urangan is right down near the bottom right down there where it says you are here so that gives you an idea as to where I'm at now it is low tide and you're gonna see a lot of a lot of sand as I uh, walk out and here's a nice sculpture to greet you and that's probably about the size of a fish that you might uh, that you might catch here on the pier how they get it up and up and out of the water onto the pier that's another uh, that's a whole other other thing but uh, there's your there's your statue there look at that all right and this my friends is the Urangan Pier and we are not going to see a sunrise today but uh, this will give you a nice nice history of the pier I'm not going to read it all but a piece of Fraser Coast history the first hundred years so it's a timeline of the uh, of the pier look at this so it is low tide right now and come 11 o'clock there might be waves splashing up on these rocks we will uh, we will see but that's what that's what I've been told so off to the east there's just a lot of clouds and you're not gonna see you're not gonna see the uh, the Sun coming up unfortunately but that's okay with me look at that just a lot of a lot of sand now the distance out to the end of this pier I think it's about 800 meters which would be about 2400 feet and if I'm not mistaken give or take a, a plank or two that would probably be the distance of about a half of a mile to walk out to the very end and or ride right out to the very end such as you see that woman doing right there but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and film if I can't capture the if I can't capture the sunrise who knows maybe I'll be able to share something else interesting with you there's a man walking just ahead of me he's got a few got a few years on me I'm gonna stop and share this view with you right here look at that what a stretch
quite a stretch of uh, sand and it actually looks like there is some stormy weather east of here east and perhaps south and I must say that in the several months that I've been here now eight I think to be, be specific next week but in the uh, in the time that I've been here there was your fisherman out there to get something to eat for breakfast perhaps morning in the time that I've been here I think that uh, I don't I don't think that I've experienced any significant rainfall perhaps when I was in Katumba Katumba was a uh, was a spot that I visited for uh, as I walk along here I see that they've got some some memory things here in loving memory of Charles Charlie Daniels who passed away peacefully on this pier 9th of May 1956 gone fishing Edward Rudolph gone fishing Mervyn Aubrey Riley Patty gone fishing for blueies look at that Eileen Mary Ray sharing the views reunited with her husband Dennis and there was Frank Dennis way passed away in 2011 but I with the exception of Katoomba I don't think that I've really experienced any significant amount of prolonged rainy periods such as you might experience if you were down in where I call home which is Florida but uh, we are just coming in to the monsoon season right now and if you can see it there's a bunch of birds just well maybe they're going to be coming overhead and they just did a nice turn I kind of sure what kind of birds those are but we are just coming into the monsoon season and I got to be honest with you that oftentimes when I'm out walking and not talking but just walking I'm walking and thinking and I find myself thinking about what what type of plans that I might have and my immediate plan right now and hope is to get back to the get back to the the, the place that uh, most feels like home to me at least here down under and that would be Toowoomba or Tiba and it's very interesting that of all the places that I've visited dozens and dozens and dozens of cities that I've visited it's very very interesting that Toowoomba is the place that I like to call home more than uh, any of the others now as I'm walking out here there is a looks like a large large crane just kind of standing there maybe having his pick of little fish that got stranded in the in the pools there as the tide went out but I'm almost well you know I keep saying that I'm almost to the end but I still have a little ways to go well, I think those were actually pelicans that were just out there but it makes sense that all the fishermen are down at the end where the water is I don't certainly I certainly don't think somebody's gonna be able to stand here on the pier and cast their line out into the out into the ocean in hopes of a morning catch but uh, we'll get down to the get down to the very end probably should give you a nice view looking back let's see what it looks like 
So there's your there's your view looking back. Look at that. But as far as as far as plans, I uh, I think that um, I am hoping to spend the better part of a of another month down in up and up and down down and I have to give that some thought down in Toowoomba and then seeing if I can't catch a flight and going down to Tasmania and spending the better part of a month exploring that beautiful part of Australia and I've heard that it is nothing short of exceptionally beautiful it's a very very similar in comparison I've heard to another beautiful place and that would be the home of my be the home of my current Airbnb host and that would be New Zealand and uh, to spend a have a chance to spend a month in in Tassie as they call it would just be absolutely incredible you know I I know at some point in time I'll find my way back to my home in America and I'll be sitting at my desk looking up at a map of the world on the wall and uh, looking down at that little spot on the map called Tasmania and thinking I've been there that's quite the uh, quite the feeling and I'm nearing the nearing the end and you can see there's just a whole collection of seabirds down here pelicans swimming amongst a uh, a whole nother sort and I've been filming 17 minutes and 30 seconds just uh, just outside my my front door which will give you an indication as to the time spent so no shortage of no shortage of pelicans down there on the water it almost looks like they're almost looks like those pelicans are hurting the hurting the other other birds and I don't know if I can zoom in on these but perhaps I can let's see Like the pelicans are hurting, are hurting the uh, the other birds. That's unfortunate that there's no sunrise this morning. You might get some illumination of the of the clouds. Well, actually, there may be a sunrise after all. I see the skyline over there turning turning a bit orange as if the sun is going to come up and I don't know if uh, if in fact it will but uh, it's either going to come up in front of those clouds or behind it and if it comes up in front of those clouds it certainly would be spectacular but I don't uh, I don't think it is it's uh, 523 right now and that sun should just be breaking the horizon and there's a little bit of a of a hill over there or a little bit stretch of land that's uh, kind of obscuring the complete view so I'll just keep uh, keep walking and seeing your your collection of fishermen and again they catch some uh, they catch some really, really well. This guy, <laughs> this guy caught a little. He just caught himself a little fish, you see. And I don't know if he's gonna keep that or not. But uh, he threw it in the bucket, so I guess, I guess he is. I guess he's gonna, I guess he's gonna keep it. Good morning. Now this woman has a really, really big net. Look at that net. I think she came out with a lot of ambition. You see how big that net is right there? 
I think she's got a lot of a lot of ambition there to catch a really a really big fish. Here comes some look at that. It's a cool morning. Temperature is probably in the uh oh I'd say temperature is probably in the low sixties at the moment. There's a quite a setup there. Somebody coming out to do a little morning fishing. It's got all the all the fixings there. Now there aren't too many people that are out here fishing. And I'd imagine that you come out here at about 10 this morning when it's high tide. And uh, boy, you'll see you'll see a lot more fish. But you're not going to see a sunrise today. It doesn't look like So we are just about to the very, very end. Good day. How are you? Good yourself. Yeah, I'm not bad. You catching anything today? Not yet. I've seen pictures on the internet of you guys catching some really, really big fish here. Oh, yes. So when you catch one of those really big ones, how the hell do you get it out of the water and up onto the up onto the wharf here, the, well, the pier? If, if you want to re release the fish, you ply with it till he snaps you off. If yeah. you don't want to release him, might. Ah, uh -huh. look at that. So you drop that down in the water and you hook him. Hook him, yeah. And then you pull it up. Yes. Where's, What's, where's what, your accent from? Florida. Do you Flo like Trump? Do I like Trump? Yeah. Well, I, I, I can't ask. If I say yes and you don't like Trump, maybe you're going to throw me over the water. No way. And then no. they're going to have to use my, one of those hooks to pull me out. Well, I think Trump is the best thing that's ever happened to the United States of America and best thing that's ever happened to the world. You like Trump? I like Trump. Where are you from? You have an accent. I have an accent. I don't come here as a young kid. From where? Bosnia. From Bosnia? Yes. Really? Yes. Now, is Mostar... Where is Mostar? Bosnia. Mo yeah? I've been to Mostar. Have you been to Mostar? No. You haven't been to Mostar, no. huh? But Trump is, Trump is the greatest thing to ever happen? My greatest thing that's ever happened to the world, mate. Tell you what, if Trump loses the elections, mate... Fucking, we re we ready for war, mate. Yeah. The world's ready for war. Yeah. All right. Well, let's hope now. Let's hope that he wins. Let's hope he wins. Let's hope he wins. Huh? Not as bad as people making math. I know. I agree with you. Uh, so you here on holidays, mate? Or? I am. I'll, I'll talk to you on my way back. Good on you, mate. All right. So there, there, there's your answer. That's how they get the big fish up out of the water. They have a big, they have a big hook. You see. They'll have a big hook, and that hook is uh, that hook is how they <laughs> they bring that fish up and out of the water. But uh, good morning. So here you have uh, look at all these lines in the water. You see that? Got a lot of a lot of lines in the water. And these guys here. So I made it to the end. And wow, look at all of these lines. There's a lot of them. Just a lot of them here in the water. Fantastic. And the sun is, uh, well, the sun will come up. It's got a good, it's got a good forecast for the, uh, got a good forecast for the day. So. I think once the sun comes up, it'll warm up a little bit here, and I may very well come back for the. Uh, I may very well come back for the the high, the high tide. Get all this fishing gear. All right. So there's your. Uh, there is your morning. There's your morning walk and talk. Have a uh, have a great day.